to what just happened here. We were going to record our intro video and I stepped in fox poo. And then? And then I walked it in the van! <laughs> So to recap what we've already done, we've got the floor battens in and insulation Celotex put in in between those. There's been some tricky little bits of floor battens that Mia and her dad have kind of worked together to make sure they fit nicely with the uh, shape of the van. We've decided we're going to seal, uh, seal our floor with paper tape, but some people say not to, to keep airflow going through the van. Oh, we ordered the lino. Oh, yeah. Big. Which is exciting. So that is on its way, but it will take about two to three weeks, so longer than I thought, but um, at least it's on its way, so that's good. Yeah, plenty of time to crack on with little bits and bobs. I really want to, this week, get the side panelling from outside the van off, clean that, seal that up so water can't get in. Um, We've seen some real tragedies of vans where they've not done that and water has come in and they've found <clears> out <throat> because they've got very, very moist areas in their van. And then sometimes as well when they're taking off the bumpers they break and it's like, no! Yeah, <laughs> the so, tragedy. So that's, gonna... that's a big task. We need the weather to be consistently good to start that. And today it looks lovely, but we've been forewarned of rain in the next coming hours. So that's not a today job. May's not being kind to us, is it? It's either brilliant sunshine or raining. This week we are also going to order our windows, research and order our vents. We've bought a jigsaw. So when they arrive, we might be able to cut out the windows, but I don't, as in the window holes, but I don't think um, we've got, I don't think the windows are going to arrive on time this week for that to actually take place. So we will we'll be probably doing that in week four, week five. Hello. <laughs> We're on our way to uh, a tour station today, so Trader. Uh, we need a jigsaw, um, amongst other bits, so our next step is cutting the plywood, getting that into the van. Uh, we're also picking up some bits to prep for, the jigsaw included in this, cutting holes in the metal of the van, which whenever I think about it, makes me go, oh. <laughs> um, Oh yeah, we're, we're prepping for that. So a couple of new drill bits to get through the steel. Um, oh, other bits. Oh, I can't think right now. <laughs> Thinking on the fly, quite literally. Screws? Did you screws? mention oh, screws? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I've got the screws to actually get the plywood to attach to the uh, batons we've got in the bottom of the van. Um, we're picking up some vapor tape. Yeah, uh, got that, that one. Because we see other YouTubers <laughs> applying vapour tape between the, uh, the battens and uh, their insulation so we're doing that on the basis that we can't see it doing any harm but we're not entirely sure why? The, 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 why? The, the Do we why? <laughs> um, yeah so right now we've got the wind behind us it's lovely There's isn't it? Blooming, lovely day. look at that sky Whee! HDR up the yin yang. <laughs>
What are you doing, Bobby? So, I think we've said that we had the insulation done. And in my head we did. But we had promised ourselves we'd go around and fill in all the little gaps that uh, we left when we first did it. So, right now, I'm going around, finding the little gaps that we've left and getting those. I was going to say snug. I, I, I'm not good enough to, to get it snug, but... Oh, I apologise because we're about to hear. Oi! Oh. <laughs> she did! No! <laughs> Battery wise, Dad has a charger that looks like it is from the 70s that he has suggested we use to charge up the battery whilst we're working on it. Now I have never charged a battery of a car before. Um, it's always either been someone else on my car doing it or um, I haven't had the need. So um, we, I'm a, bit, I'm a bit anxious about it. So we're waiting until we don't have to do any work on the van or until dad's able to come out and help us. But basically the premise is we can plug it into the mains charge up the battery and then hopefully the turtle will move again <laughs> but that is a uh... we'll keep you posted on that one I'm gonna show you a little bit about vapor tape and what to use it when to use it and how to use it this is your roll of vapor tape and it starts often in a complete plastic packaging once you've removed the primary layer of plastic packaging, you'll notice a seam that has this little plasticky section on it. And that's where you begin, and you just pull that plasticky section, and the roll comes off. As the roll comes off, you'll notice it is not sticky on the back, and it's shiny on the other side. You peel this piece of paper off it, and that reveals the sticky aluminium side underneath, which means that as you go along here, you're removing the non-sticky paper away from the sticky aluminium side and that is how you get to stick it down. Okay, so this is my technique. So as you can see, I've got the non-sticky side and the sticky side. The sticky side is the silver section. And I'm going to place, I'm going to peel off slightly and then place the sticky side either side of this batten and starting on the other batten. As I go along, I'm going to make sure it's probably about in line. And then you can see that ridge there shows me that that's where one side of the baton is. And this side, you can see it slightly as well, that's where the other baton is. And I'm going to work my way like that all the way along until I get to the end. And then I'm going to do a little bit more fiddly bits around the corners and just make sure pretty much that it's all the silver, it's all covered. Done. There's a bit of drama with us and I don't know why, because we're not asking for it, but our van isn't actually opening. Um, I pressed the open button multiple times and um, absolutely nothing. So Rob is now researching why we aren't actually able to get into our van. And if you are a switched on viewer, which you may be, you might be thinking, this is the key. Well, that's not working either. As I say, Bob's doing some research and we're going to see if we can actually get into our home or not. Here we have Mia, self-declared melon. <laughs> Why are you a melon? Because I tried to open the door, this door, twice with the key, and I didn't. And then Rob ran out and said, I'll, I'll just I'll just give it a go. And then he did, and he opened it first time, so I think I'm a melon. Yeah, well, for context, <laughs> our fobs uh, weren't opening the van suddenly. I recorded it. Oh, you've, you've seen yeah. that. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I, was, so. I recorded it well smug, because so I was like, look at this drama. I see. Oh. So, well, then you have that context. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, Mia was just turning a key the wrong way. 
But we're good, we're good. We're gonna go, we're gonna try and uh, drive now and charge the van. So we should start? Oh, well, yeah, live. Oh, get that seatbelt on. It's definitely gonna start, that's confidence. <laughs> Imagine if it doesn't, I'm just strapped in. Safety first. Oh. That's, that's, that's. So we stopped charging the battery because it started raining and uh, we hoped we'd got enough juice, but uh, we haven't. All right, so we can't. One more time. We're gonna do like the Rob one. No. no. All right, tragedy. Well, I'll leave that recording there, I think. <laughs> Hello. So I'm currently researching which means sitting in a cosy bed, like with the laptop on my lap, pretending, you know, um, I'm, I'm hunting down windows. So we know the next step that's coming is to cut a hole in the side of our van and magically pop in some windows. No stress, no pressure involved with that at all. Um, and we know the type of window we want. We maybe haven't quite decided on the dimensions. I, um, that's you know still in the discussion phase off camera, uh, <laughs> uh, but I'm looking at now windows that have um, their top hung and hinge upwards. It's a sort of classic camper van windows rather than the slidey ones. And we've heard the pros of them from Mia herself, who had a camper van with her parents as a kid, so she loved those. They come with like a fly net, uh, uh, other bits. Blind. Oh, you might have heard that. They come with blinds as well. And uh, they tend to be less difficult to break. More difficult to break into. Um, Double glazed as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so that's what I'm doing here. And I'm shocked at the variation in price. Uh, from website to website, from brand to brand, we're looking at sometimes a 50%, sometimes a 100% difference in price for the same product on different websites. So really trying to hunt down where we're going to be able to get this one. Hello? <laughs> What's this, Bobby? This is our to-do list spreadsheet, which started off as a to-do list. I'll get to the to-do list bit because it's great fun. Ah. Where we are slowly working our way through the bits and bobs we want to do on the van, colour coding them when they're done, when they still need to be done, etc, etc. And the spreadsheet has now evolved into storing all the useful information we've found. So we've got bits on the side moulding, bits on the lino flooring, bits on the roof, and cutting holes in the roof. Oh, yeah, the side door bits, because we had to do some stuff there. Noise deadening pads, modified vehicle insurance, which I did research into before realising we actually didn't need to do it because we had already sorted it. Um, and this is just going to expand. It's going to be huge by the time we've uh, completed the van, and it will be a lovely resource. Which we'll sell. Wow. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so right now, windows. Crochet Lucky is helping. Hello! <laughs> our friend made this for us when we lost our dog. Look how cute she is! She gets lots of cuddles, doesn't she, Bobby? Yes, and occasionally I accidentally move her and here it goes. Oh, my dog's back! <laughs> it's so good. It's too real. I know it looks... I don't know. Looking straight at it, it's obvious it's not a dog, but when it's dark, it looks just like a... It's fantastic, a work of art.
You shall not pass! <laughs>